my name is Heather Davison. I'm a lead naturalist for the Environmental Nature Center. Today we're going to be talking about niche partitioning. A niche is a role that an animal fills in its ecosystem. It's the certain job that it has. Today we're in my very favorite ecosystem. It's called an estuary, which is where salt water from the ocean mixes with fresh water from the mountains. And it has some of my very favorite animals in the entire world, shorebirds and ducks. Um, now these ducks and the shorebirds often eat the same thing and they're right on top of each other here in this ecosystem but they fill different roles in the habitat so think of it as an office building everyone's working at the same job but everyone's doing something a little bit different so if we look at the very specific species they often hang out in certain areas where other species uh, might not be so shorebirds like sandpipers and curlews tend to be more in shallower waters, whereas larger birds and ducks will hang out in the deeper waters. So that's one degree of separation for the two different animals. Um, ducks go even further with separating the habitat where the larger ducks um, often hang out on top of the waters. These ducks are known as dabbling ducks, like mallards, and their legs are actually positioned more in the middle of their body. So they are the birds who kind of tip themselves over and eat um, what they can from underneath the surface of the reach. Their little legs are so far up on their body that they can't physically really dive all the way down in the water. So there's a second type of ducks called diving ducks, which tend to be a little bit smaller in size. Ready ducks, buffalo heads, and those ducks will actually dive all the way down to the bottom to get the food that's on the bottom of the estuary. Diving ducks' legs are actually positioned a little bit further back on their body, which allows them to dive all the way down inside of the water. Next time you're out in nature, pay closer attention to the different adaptations that the various animals have. Um, leg placement, beak shape, um, neck length, things like that let the animal participate in very specific portions of the ecosystem. So their different adaptations will allow them to live in the various places. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. The Environmental Nature Center provides a tremendous service for our community. Free public access to nature, environmental education, and a sanctuary for our community to escape from life's pressures. The ENC depends on income from programs to fund our operations and to pay staff. The recent school shutdowns will result in a considerable loss of income for the center. Please consider becoming an ENC member or making a donation. Any amount helps. To donate, please visit encenter.org. Thanks!